I just want to let everyone know in this video, and it's such a video where I ramble so much in it, but I just want to let everyone know that it's okay to feel like you were good at being a girl beforehand and to feel like to feel so distant from yourself beforehand and how suddenly did I become did I have this dysphoria how suddenly did I realize I was a trans man um, and that it's okay to just live your life as a feminine person feminine trans guys it is fine <laughs> isn't a wheelie chair so this isn't going to be as <laughs> smooth as it could have been. Um, I guess I should take my glasses off because otherwise it always ruins it when there's a massive reflection in my glasses. Okay so I was just getting some work done on my laptop over here. I am excited to make this video but also nervous because I know that it can get some like it's it's a big video like to make like there's so much to say and I always end up forgetting something so apologies if I forget something. This video is something that I actually often think about and I often talk about with like my friends and things like that and, and a lot of my friends from before which is why I was so good at being a girl and I really was good <laughs> at being a girl if like that makes any sense. I had the technique down um, and obviously it hasn't quite turned out that way now seeing as I am a trans man transitioning into a man currently into like yeah. However I did I had absolutely no clue at the time so for a matter of fact it is true that I was very good at being a girl but I also want this video to be about why maybe I actually wasn't that good at being a girl and that makes no sense. It's why I was so good at being a girl, but maybe I actually wasn't. Um, which makes no sense for now, but you'll see in a minute. So I'm just going to put some, some photos up sort of next to me at certain points in this video. I was looking through my Facebook uh, earlier and I, I just realised like, oh my god, it's crazy to look at these photos and think I did I had absolutely no clue I was trans at that time if I just grab my laptop here I do have some I have some photos I have some photos on there um, saved in a folder if I just have a look so if we start off in like one of my most feminine stages which to be honest was about like my my like mid teen stage like when I was going from like maybe age 13-ish to like age 16, I think I was in my most feminine sort of stage and uh, there's a bunch of photos which I'm going to just sort of do a slideshow here. Um, I would react to them but I've already sort of looked at them earlier and I don't know what I was doing, I was pouting, I was being all like super cringe um, and I've already had other videos where I've reacted to photos of me um, with that. I always loved like dresses like if we have a few photos here of like me I'm, I'm looking at some now like me in in dresses and in just feminine clothes pouting at the camera being like oh hi how are ya um I love doing that and I never had a thing in my mind being like oh that's too feminine I'm feeling really uncomfortable with that oh no that's that's I, I look too much like a woman in that photo because I thought I looked really great when I had like my long hair I was pouting I put some like makeup on I, I absolutely one of the things I loved which really weirds me out and I've got photos here of me posing with like a bra on like a padded bra I, I felt confident when I'd go out and um, and I'd wear like I'd wear a bra I'd be looking really nice I'd, I'd, I'd feel confident I'd take photos of me posing all this sort of stuff with like in, in a crop top like showing off that whole area and things like that I, I loved going bra shopping you know what I mean I don't ever hear of any other trans guys experiences where they've loved going bra shopping and I really love doing makeup I mean I still do um, I, I really loved uh, like getting my hair done when I'd get dressed up and go on a night out. I've got some photos of like me and Abby getting dressed up and doing our hair, makeup and all this sort of stuff, taking cool photos together. I enjoyed it. I don't know if there was ever a point where I was like, oh, I think I look too feminine. I, I, I can't remember 
that being a thing with me. Like, I can't remember ever thinking having that bad dysphoria about it, because obviously I would have felt it earlier. However, there was always a little something, but I can never, I never really for years could put my finger on it. Even now, it scares me how much of a drastic, oh my god, uh, change it was from me being such a sort of feminine person beforehand. But thing is, I'm still a feminine person. Um, but back then, it was just so, and it was for so long. I mean, I only came out as trans when I was 17 and only started dressing slightly more masculine when I was 16. And for one of the things, if we look at my prom, I had this lush, it had a um, pool sort of um, like at the back, it would drag behind and it was really nicely contouring of the body. I've actually still got that dress to be fair. Um, I may try it on in a future video. Maybe I was gonna do a trying on my girls clothes video, but I've got the dress and it perfectly contours the body. It costs my dad so much money, he's still salty about it. The fact that I bought this really expensive dress and then I decided to transition. I can still wear it probably. Um, no, but it, it, it had all these lovely diamonds here, I had a lovely pair of heels, um, and there's photos of me younger when I used to dress up and wear heels and dresses and things like that. And I, and, and I got my hair and makeup done at prom, and I thought I looked bomb at prom. I had absolutely no dysphoria with it. I was happy that I was looking like the belle of the ball. And I, I was just so happy, like, and, and that's what, when I was first coming out as trans, that's what really scared me. The fact that I did actually enjoy, and still, even now, um, uh, sometimes, and I don't want to scare any of you guys who are just thinking about this yourself, but this is my experience, and still even now, sometimes miss that, you know, that being able to dress up, have a nice, you know what I mean, go out um, and dress up, because it, it's much harder to wear, like, all these crazy clothing. I mean, I still try now, but it's, it's much harder to have more options in the outfit department when you're a dude, like, um, it shouldn't be, but it just sort of is, like, I loved dresses beforehand and I wouldn't wear one now just out of dysfor dysphoria, but I may do in drag, or something like that. That'll be, uh, maybe I should do drag soon, that'll be great. <laughs> I'll make a video of me doing drag, that's fantastic. The thing is, I had absolutely no idea back then, I had, m like, some semblance of happiness. I, I fit myself into the role, quite easily. Um, however, when I was 16, I started wearing more and more masculine stuff, then I came out as a lesbian, and then I came out as tran a trans man, finally, and then back out as bisexual. <laughs> there must have been something that was keeping me so easily in that role beforehand, but I guess I've sort of explained the part of it as to why I was good at being a girl. I was good at being feminine, maker, I mean all the generic stuff, all the generic stuff that society sees as like girl things. Makeup, like um, just the feminine ways about me, the um, like the clothes, loving those sort of clothes, um, never really having any issues wearing them, stuff like that, bra shopping, all this sort of stuff. I was just good at it for a long time, for a long, as long as I can really remember. However, if I explain the part of why maybe that isn't so true, why I wasn't good at being a girl, it was just how it was good, I was good at expressing myself the way girls usually do, and I see it as if I was born as a cis male, would I be doing the same things as I did as I was born um, in my life as a female and had to transition because I'm a trans man. Um, and I realised like, cis males who are, uh, and this isn't all cis males who are gay, I'm just saying this as an example. If you really think of cis males who are either gay or bisexual, like, you know what I mean, in the queer range, um, I've known a lot who've told me about their childhood where, they, where they'd dress up in like dresses just because they wanted that bit of femininity um, and they're not tra a trans woman, they're just cis guys who are in the queer spectrum who um, who when they were a little kid did like to occasionally wear like these fairy dresses and look all fierce and some some people who who um, I know do drag now and they they did that before they knew they wanted to do drag and before they knew they were gay they would be dressing up in dresses and things like this so I was doing that but it was normal for me um, and it was easier for me to do because I was to at least the outside world a girl so when I did those things of drag, which makes no sense because it wasn't drag back then, but I said this once in a documentary that I was in, and it still rings true today. I played 
most of my life in drag. However, at the end of the day, drag queens can take off their wigs and makeup and go home as a man, and I couldn't. So I feel like I was good at playing that part. I was basically living my entire life in, in drag, and I now could quite happily do drag. I'd find it rather fun. However, I think at the end of the day, even drag queens would get tedious of living in drag forever. And that's sort of what I think. So if we look back at some evidence, like when I was younger, I actually sort of just lived life as a little dude. And I know you don't really know too much about gender back then, but there's photos of me and I look at me and I think, oh, that's just a little boy. Uh, that's just a little dude. And I look at photos and I've just, I'm just wearing, sort of neutral clothes and I used to before it, it became you know um, socially unacceptable I used to walk around shirtless before like I grew some form of like um, breasts I used to be uh, I used to run around shirtless and I used to wear like boys clothes but I also would sometimes wear girls clothes like dresses which can sh be shown in these younger videos like like younger photos of me I, I mean I mean just thinking back to them like as photos of me just being a cheeky little lad and you don't really know about gender back then and and I could never have known what transgender was the, even if I was it and it still probably would have taken me so long because I'm still feminine and that to this day um, I'm just gonna be true, it still worries me to this day that I do actually miss some of the stuff I could do beforehand, you know, however, I love my life the way it is right now, just being being a lad, and I still, I still want to look more and more like a cis man, um, that's never, for a while that hasn't been, for like years, that hasn't been something I've, I've, I haven't actually thought, oh, I'd want to, I'd want to be, uh, you know, a woman again, or at least portray myself as a woman again, other than in certain situations where I'd find it funny to do drag, and that's just about it. Um, it still worries me to this day how much, like, I think, oh, that, that was fun, I used to find that really fun, I used to find going bra shopping really fun. I'm just living my life day to day at the moment. Um, and even though I was very good at being a woman, my life is more complete now that I'm a man. Um, and top surgery and everything on that, all I'm doing is every time I do something, I feel good about that thing I do, and then I, I continue doing it even more. Um, and I just take it day by day. For now, I'm loving the progress, I'm loving everything like that. Like, I look at little photos of me, and, and I just see a little boy who occasionally loved to wear dresses. But my family don't see that, they lo they see a little girl who loved to wear dresses that occasionally would dress like a boy. And that's why it took me so long, because I didn't mind doing some of the things that women do. I don't really want to ramble on too long, because I've already been rambling for ages. I just want to say I'm just loving life being a dude and it, it just and I it means I always have been but I can now express myself even more even because I come across as a cis man most of the time now I can express myself as fem a feminine cis man and I was just a feminine guy trapped in a girl's body and that's why it made that's why I was rather good at being a girl generally however it wasn't exactly what I was I, I, I was just good at doing some of the things that girls do. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Click that notification bell down below to see more videos of my life and my experiences transitioning and my transition upcoming. <laughs> Go to my social media links in the description down below, especially my Instagram because I often post on there. Thank you guys for watching again. Yep, yeah, subscribe. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, love you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 I got, I'm starting to get like an Adam's apple, I swear. That makes me really happy. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Hi, lava lamp. How are you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. It's been an interesting video. I'm glad I did it.